Today I'm doing an install video for a pair of six and a half inch speakers that I just recently got from Studio Phoenix. They sent me these to show you guys how to install them and how easy it is to set up. Of course, out of the box, you have your pair of speakers. They're indoor or outdoor use, so they do have a waterproof rating on them. You've got your power cable, your speaker wire, and of course, an instruction booklet. And you can use this if you have an amplifier and you're adding speakers to your amplifier setup. I'm gonna give you a quick demo of how I set these up here in my garage. And one of the first things that you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out where in your space, or in my case, in your garage, you wanna mount your speakers. In my situation, I have a plug right here, and then I have two more outlets right here. I decided to put one speaker right here so that it's close to the outlet with the other speaker directly above the door right here. The provided speaker wire is about 16 feet, so you have to make sure that this wire is gonna reach for the spaces where you wanna put your speakers. You will need to keep in mind the type of surface that you're mounting the speakers to. Although the speakers are pretty light, and I think that the drywall will hold them, I'm gonna make sure to find a stud to drill these into just to be extra careful. You also need to make sure to measure the distance between the two mounting holes on the back of the speaker mount. This one here is about five and five eighths of an inch, or about 14 and a half centimeters. Now make sure to measure out that distance exactly on the surface that you're about to drill into. So I'll be drilling a, a screw here and a screw right here. Make sure that your screws will fit into the back of these mounting holes right here. So that means that the head of the screw needs to be able to fit through this hole, but when you slide it up, it needs to have enough room to hook into that slot. You'll need four total screws to mount both speakers. Now go ahead and drill in both screws. Make sure that they're not drilled all the way into the wall and leave a little bit of a gap. Next, grab your first speaker and line it up to make sure it fits. This one fits great. Now before I start hanging up this speaker, I want to show a quick demonstration of how to wire these in. You'll notice when you take the caps all the way off, there's a hole right there in the terminal. This is where you're going to slip your wires through. Stick the wire into that hole and make sure that there's metal on metal contact. Then screw down your cap. Once it's tight over the wire, you'll know that it's attached and you can see that it's not coming out. Do the same thing with your black wire. And then you'll want to connect the other ends the same way into the active speaker. This is the passive speaker because you don't plug this one into the wall for power. Power is supplied through these wires right here. Next, hang up the passive speaker in the same way that you did as the first one. Now your next step is gonna to be to take the speaker cable and run it along the wall into the corner to your other speaker. I'm gonna be using these small translucent hooks from Command Hooks. You just stick them to the wall. There's other ways to do it, including some strips that you can put along the edge of your wall and into the corner, and those will completely hide the wires. While you're up here, you can go ahead and screw in the other ends of your speaker wire into your active speaker. Now your last step is to get your AC-DC adapter, plug it into the wall. Bluetooth mode connected. You're going to see the blue flashing light on the speaker. That means that the Bluetooth is searching, but it's not connected. Go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone and look for the HOS and then the model that you have. Mine is a 601. Now it says it's connected and there's a solid blue light. And now you've got your speakers installed. And they get pretty loud. And you can't really see it, but my phone is all the way at the end of the driveway down there between the two cars. It's about 60 feet away and still got good signal. Good luck setting up your system. You can move it around to however you see fit, move it to different spaces if you need to. Check it out in the links below and get some good music in your garage.